part one for Robert Lang's mosquito. And this is the crease pattern. So make sure you're printing this off so you can use it as you follow along. So the first part we're going to collapse is the bottom half. Get the body pleats done and then we can work our way up because this is the main part we need to do first. It's easy to do it this way. So even though there's a lot of colours, the purple is the mountain fold. Red is valley but not, no, red is mountain but not all of it is mountain. So this is mountain and then valley. So that, I don't know why it's all the same colour but we'll work with it. So first of all, start making the, this is the mountain fold as well, these top lines. And then the green is the valley. So start doing mountain valley, mountain valley. Basically, in this section first. So colour side up. Just a simple box plate in here. <coughs> So that's the bottom corner. And I'm just going to keep repeating this. Do the exact same here, just up to the end of this line. So basically, we have this done. So it's one more mountain fold. So like that, and then do the exact same on this side, just so we can keep it symmetrical because it's going to help to collapse later on if we've got it done on both sides at once So again, just like that. I'm just going to keep repeating it. So now we've got it the exact same on both sides. Now we're just going to keep. Uh, we're basically done from this green line and this area to the left. We've done all that and we're going to just extend the creases to here and then do these ones as well. And then we can collapse the body pleats, we can start collapsing them. So again, Follow the crease pattern and just keep 
collapsing. And you'll notice that this mountain fold hits this diagonal and then comes all the way down, so I'll just make that as well. And the same here. But probably not these ones, but just this top one first. I'm going to start bringing the pieces up this direction. Right now we can start making the ones along the top. Like that. This first X, this part here, gets pushed down like that. So that is this part right here. So if you can get it like that just now, and then do the exact same again on this side. So now we've got it done on both sides, should have something like this. Now what we want to do is start these middle creases. So we'll need to make, first of all, this valley fold and the same on this side, which this is where these top fleets are so it runs all the way down back up and then back up to this one, so it's all the way down and then two up from that is the mountain fold so we need to make that which starts from this point here So again, this is the valley fold. This line, so we need to push this in. Like this, and then counting up two. One, two, which connects up with this point, which is the mountain fold, so we need to make that. And then again, just repeat it on this side. So, valley fold, push this in, and then count up two, and then make that the mountain fold. Again, keep following the crease pattern if you're stuck. So, 
we end up with this. And now if we bring both together, we've got the valley fold in place on both sides. We can then squash this top point like so. And even all that back part as well. So that's that whole back part collapsed. So you should have something like this. And now we're just going to keep working our creases along the way. Just continue this part. So now we're just going to keep extending these creases all the way down. But first, just make this valley fold and this mountain fold. Just put, put those in place first. So here's the mountain fold. This one here. Push this out. Then this is the valley fold. Push this in. Now I'll just do the same on this side. And there we go. So again, just keep extending the creases all the way down. Once you hit the next one, let's just push this part down, like so, but I need to do it again on the other side, just so I can collapse it flat. So there we go, that's the next one done. Should have something like this. And then we just need to repeat it again here, here, yeah, and then the same here, here. I'm going to make this mountain fold the next one under it. And then this one here is basically the exact same as this first one that we just did. I'm just going to push that tightly together just to hold it in place roughly. Turn it around, and then do the exact same here. So if I keep turning it around, I'm just trying to figure out the easiest way to do this and show it.
So hopefully I've got something like this. I've got these next mountain folds in place and the valley folds just up to this line here. Sorry my nails are orange, I've been eating an orange. So basically we've got everything here collapsed, all the mountain and valley folds. Now we've just got this valley fold collapsed. And then the mountain folds as well. So we can finally collapse this part. So just like that. And it's gotten together nice and easily up the top. Should have something like that. And we're gonna do it again, the exact same on the other side, just to fully collapse this part. Got that in place on both sides. Should have something like this. So from now on it's just straightforward, we'll do that two more times, so the last two times we need to do it is, we've done it here, here, here and here, now it's just here, 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 also three times is it, yeah one, two, three, so these are the last three times, and it's the exact same as previous, just need to continue the, the creases down, and then up. So we'll make this whole mountain fold, and that mountain fold is this one here, and the valley fold, and then the final mountain. So I've got it on this side, turn it around and do the exact same here, just to keep it flat. So it really does help when you do it on both sides at once. And there we go. That's clicked in place. So now I can just squash that effect. No, I can't. Now I can. So there we go. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. Just got two more. There's the next one in. You, ha you have to sort of force it because the layers are getting thicker and more spread out. You need to try and force it together and then push it in place, which really does help. So I do recommend you do that. So I've, I'm lining up the layers, which they're lined up. Pull this mountain fold and then push down and then re pull this mountain fold to try and make it neat. I should not really work in this time. And 
that's because I don't have this mountain fold in place and the valley fold. So I don't think I can collapse any more of this than now. So we'll work on making these mountain folds to connect with these ones and then collapse this part. Probably the best way to do it. So again, let's just start making the mountain fold, valley folds all the way up to connect with these ones we've just made. So this is what should happen, this will start to puff out because this is the wing or the yeah the wing. So this will get folded back once you've collapsed this, then it'll lie flat. So again do the exact same what we've done here on this side. pressure that this peg creates that allows me to put these in place easily. Like so. So you should have this. These parts are puffed out. You have these creases in place. This part in place. This part in place. So we can focus on this wee part. So that is this part. So here. Valley fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, valley, valley, mountain fold. So we'll do that. So again, the valley fold, 
mountain fold, we need to push this part inside. Sort of that. And then the mountain fold, mountain fold. So again, we'll do the exact same again on this side. So we need to push this part inside. the mountain fold, which is this part right here. So now we collapse this part, we need to push it in. And then try and make these neatly. in place but we've got it started so that's a good thing now we can start just continuing the creases the mountain valley folds up this way and start curving them around Let's pick up slightly. Oh, so I've started the collapse here. Should have something like this. Again, do the exact same on this side. Just to keep it even. Thank you. 
so I've done it on this side and that side so now we can we'll leave the eye part till last because you need to have everything in place just to get it done so we'll just work on this part then so again everything we did here basically the exact same on the bottom part so we'll just use your, use your crease part to help you so this whole part's the valley fold Fold, push that inside. And then we'll do the exact same here. Again, remember we've got the valley fold here as well, exactly the same here. So the valley fold down and then across. So everything's here in place. Quite tricky to put it all together. Mountain fold. See if that's correct. Try and get this the last pleats collapsed. So it's just a matter of forcing it together, the sides. 
and then pushing. So I've got this last one, which is here, and then the valley fold here. Right, so basically from here on now it's just a matter of trying to put all the pieces in place at once so we can collapse this. So again we're just going to work on the what's it called the, the wings. So first of all to collapse this part flat you need to grab these layers and the same on this side. this and then just turn and pull and you'll end up bringing all this together to lie flat you can if you want just peg it once you've got it done just hold it in place maybe one of enough So we should have something like this. But don't worry about this, this comes up through the centre one. So this is the wing and it comes up through the centre to make the body. So we need to pull this back out. Try our best to bring this downwards. So, th so this is the the middle one we're working on. I'll take this away then out. So something like that. Hopefully you can get it like that. It does need to be perfect this part so don't worry about it. So I need to bring this as close together as possible. And that's the third one here. So I'll actually peg it here then now. In fact, I want that So I need to put this back in place, this one. So again, I'm grabbing it here. And here, I'm just pulling. And the more you pull, the more it should go into place. For the final plate. Bring this wing up. In fact, I think we should probably collapse this one first to try to. Just roughly, this is the top one. Just roughly try and push it together. Again, don't worry how much, about how neat it's going to be. That's actually about not bad. So you should have something like this. And now we can make push that valley fold back in place, which 
which is this one. the exact same on this side. I need to make this mountain fold again. So basically it should be symmetrical to the now, which is what we want. Okay, this is the eye, so we'll come back to that once we do this. I'm going to try to push these layers down just so it makes this part easier. Right, for the wing, we want to open it up, make a valley fold, I'm not sure how far up, so the wing comes outwards. In order to do that, we need to bring the paper down. Even out, like what it is. But I'm going to push on this. Get rid of these pegs. So make it even. So this is this line, and this is comes down here, and then fold up. I'm going to be super neat at first, but just need to try and do the best you can. Right, in order to make this part easier, because we need to pull up a bit more paper, so we'll do the eyes now. From the crease pattern, this is it here. So these are mountain folds, mountain fold. Where was it? Put? Yep, mountain fold, mountain fold. So it's something like this. I'm not entirely sure if this is correct, but it was what I done when I first did this model. So again, it's something like this. Even peg it here if you can. So we've got it on this side, got it on this side. So do the exact same again on this side again just to keep it even. So let me just see. Mountain fold, mountain. Inside is the valley fold. Mountain, mountain. And then just again on this side. That's where the mountain fold comes up. Hits this diagonal, then comes up the way. Mountain, 
So we've got it on the left side, we've got somewhat of it on the right side, it's hard to do it on that side as well. So we can go back to the wing. So hold it from this angle. And then, so we actually make the valley fold here. And this valley fold ends up coming down this way into this V, which is it should. Which is the last pleat here. So again, to do that, hold it here, hold these layers, then hold here, and then pull, and push down, and then squash this. Okay, make sure, make sure you've got the valley fold in place. and then squash back down. Don't worry about this part, don't, uh, don't worry about this bit now, just focus on this part. And then pull this last pleat together. So there we go. I'm going to peg it right there. And do the exact same on this side. So again, Hold it here, hold it here, pull, and then push down. And that's quite tricky this, so just take your time. And hopefully I'm able to show it good enough. Again, once I do collapse it, I'll show you completely what it should look like. So, take that peg off that short. Focus, yep. Right, so basically, we've got most of this collapsed. You should have something like this. So the valley fold will be this one here, just one down from this mountain fold, and the same on this side. So again, I've, I've just pegged it here, just to help hold it in place, I'm actually going to peg it here as well, and here, because this is the last part. And don't worry too much if it doesn't look neat, there's no big deal. So no peg. Again, this valley fold and mountain fold are this part here. So this, it's quite difficult actually. This is one of the key parts where everything comes together at the, at the end, near enough. the mountain fold. I think if I do remember correctly when I made mine I just four dice together because I couldn't get it. I'll probably need to do that with this one. This part here, this is the top of the body. So we're going to want to 
make mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain, and mountain, mountain. These are right angles, right here. So what I mean by that is this. This is the wee square we've got here. So make the mountain folds and then pull together. And then push this valley fold inside. Well, I had that a second ago. Anyway, this part gets pushed inside. So this is the bottom of the square. It gets pushed inside. Like that. Hopefully I showed it alright. So again, do the exact same on this side. I'll show you this time. So I've already got the valley fold in place, which is good. So again, mountain fold, mountain fold. Grab it and pull, basically 45 degrees. 90 degrees, I mean. And this part gets pushed inside. So we have something like that. And then it's just a matter of trying to push everything together for the final moment. I'm sure this is correct with the eyes, I can't really remember how I did mine. Then we just pull this bit down. the wings touching so I'm going to actually peg it here. Well this is the last part and it's the trickiest all. Oh, all this has been tricky so far. But mainly you just want to get the wings together, the body, and then everything else, you don't need to worry about how neat it is because I can't really get these eyes to lie perfectly flat. So anyway, everything falls underneath the body. So what I try to mean is, well, I keep my round circles. So you need to hide everything under this circle part that I, sh that I showed earlier. Honestly, I'm just going to try and force it in place. It's not really my day for this. So I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to hold it down flat.
so they're flat. Now the eyes are fine, the eyes stick out. Right, have even... Tuck the eye inside. And I'll just do the same here. Open it up and fold the eye in. And then this valley fold which was that's not on the crease pattern but it's right here so I'm gonna make this and there we go that is it collapsed to the best that I could going with the crease pattern. This is, this is how I'd done it the first time. I made it. So I'm missing out. So here, we've got the abdomen. That's your curve. Then you have the wings. Then the top of the body, and then the first leg, 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 and leg. So six legs. Of course, the back one will come up, and then round, and this will come up, and then down, and then the same with. This one. And then you just need to fold, basically fold this in half. In fact. So this is the body, you need to make some head, so you need to round it. And then this, basically like that. This is the front spike. And then you've got the wee two spikes at the side as well that come up. So again, doing this with the thinnest paper possible will give you the best result. It will be difficult to do this with thin paper, but the differences will be great. So as long as you get this part fine, you're good to go. And the pleats, and the wings and the head, so that's basically all that short. But anyway, I hope you were able to make this. Again, thank you for so much for watching.